They're so easy to move. Boink! <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. So today we are at NARBC and I'm pretty much just looking around with some friends But there are a few things that I might pick up if we see them So I figured I'd just bring you guys along and show you what the show looks like and yeah, let's go do it Phil from US Arc here. I'm sure a lot of you guys probably recognize him. So do you have any updates on the Lacey Act amendments at all? Yes, I do. But yeah, we've got these really cool postcards we're still sending out. So it's probably gonna be about three months before we know if these Lacey Act amendments are gonna make it in the final bill. So they've just assigned, I believe it's 107 conferees to that special conference committee. And they won't start formal discussions for about another two or three weeks. They actually have to set the rules wow. for the special conference committee. So it's probably gonna be end of summer before we know. So right now it's super important. Just keep voicing your opposition. We have all the details right at, on our alert at usarc.org. So go there and check it out. And thank you everybody who opposes these Lacey Act amendments. Thank you so much.
So we are back from NARBC, and I did actually manage to pick up a couple true spiders. There was quite a tarantula selection, not too many tarantula vendors, but the ones who were there seemed to have like pretty large selections of different species, which is really cool. But I did kind of want to find some true spiders, and I did actually find a couple different wolf spider species. So these are the two wolf spiders that I got, and I'm not really sure what the scientific names of them are. I actually don't really know much about either one of these species or their specific whereabouts. I just know that their wolf spiders cares pretty similar across the board. So if you maybe know the scientific names, the first one is a red pine giant wolf spider. And this other one is really little and it's a very light color. It's called a dune wolf spider. Um, Yeah, so I just actually wanted to quickly rehouse both of them and give them like a little bit, you know, fancier enclosures just because all that's really in these is just kind of like dirt and and that's it. This one has like a cricket wandering around, which it doesn't seem interested in eating, so I obviously want to get that out of there. So I have both of these small tarantula cribs terrestrial sliders. I rinsed them both out so that we could reuse them today. So here's the white bottom and the clear bottom. And as always, if you are looking for a good tarantula enclosure, I'm an affiliate with them. You can use my code CAT10 on their website to save 10%, and obviously that helps me out. So yeah, I guess let's do the smaller one first. There's an ant. <laughs> I leave the sliding door open all the time so the ants like to try to get in. And so sometimes when I'm filming after I shut the door, I'll find a few ants around. And you guys always think it's a spider that escaped. It's not, it's because I leave this door wide open and they obviously come in looking for food. God no. Sorry, Ants Canada. But yeah, this is looking good. That works I think yeah okay yeah this should definitely give them like a lot of coverage a lot of places to hide a lot of different textures a couple different substrates overall I think this wolf spider will like this so yeah let's go ahead and set this aside and we'll make the other enclosure so this is gonna be for the larger one hopefully this enclosure will be big enough I might actually have to move it up because I don't know if this is going to grow much more but Depending on the name, Giant Wolf, it makes me think that they get huge. So yeah, we'll just go ahead and guess that it'll need to be rehoused at some point. I'm gonna do this at the bottom. Okay, that should be good. A little more sand around. Just like a fine sand on the top. We have a couple options, but I do wanna use this. I bought it a while ago thinking that I could use it for like a sling or something. I actually bought like a couple of them just because they were really cute and I didn't know what really to use them for. Uh, but I think it will work really good in this enclosure. I think it'll look really cute. Yeah, actually that looks good. It doesn't take up like too much space. Like I think it's like just enough. I feel like since neither one of them has hides, they'll both probably want to hide like right away because <laughs> naturally that's like what they want to do. Look at this really, really fuzzy moss. Um, I think this is gonna actually work fine if I just break off a little piece and put it right here. Drop a couple leaves in. Add a little bit more of this. There we go. All right, cool. So we're gonna put the dune one in this enclosure. Let's try to get a good look at it first though. Now wolf spiders typically can't climb up the smooth surfaces like this. Check it out, it's really cool. I just thought it looked really unique and I love their little faces. Yeah, this thing is so cool. I'm so glad I picked it up. I almost didn't even see it. <laughs> I wonder if I could just like gently I don't know, maybe we'll try this. There we go. Went right into the jar. No problem at all. 
But yeah, it's a pretty, you know, decent sized spider. I do think it might be an adult. This is probably as big as it gets, you know, um, but I'm not sure. So yeah, if you know anything more about them, if you recognize this wolf spider and you maybe live around this species, let me know. Cause I don't think I've seen this around here. So, and they didn't come with like scientific names on them. So I don't know, but yeah, they're so easy to move. Boink. <laughs> there it is. So now we're going to try to rehouse this red giant wolf spider. I wonder if, oh, I actually like it like this better. Let me put some reptile soil under, like right over here. It's gonna cover that mushroom, but oh well. Okay, cool, yeah, that looks awesome. All right, so this is the red pine giant. What this actually is, I don't know. Really, really a big guy, huh? So here it is. Look at all its eyes. Oh my gosh, it's so freaking cool. Really, really like it. Um, I've been hoping to find some wolf spiders to like, you know, take and keep, but unfortunately every time we have a wolf spider in this place, it's always a mature male, always. But yeah, so this is awesome. All right, so I wonder if this one will be easy to get in. Now this one is probably big enough to run out of here just because I have it filled so high. So I'm gonna have to be careful about that. Can I try to get you to go this way? Maybe? Oh, shoot. Oh, do not move, do not move, do not move. <laughs> I was just afraid it was gonna be able to run out. Um, but yeah, okay. There it is. I think it'll enjoy that tunnel probably. Um, I hope so. But yeah, I wonder if it would actually want this cricket that the other one wasn't eating. Oh, it pounced. Tim to. Nope. All right. Well, I'll leave it in there for a little because it did seem like it probably will eat it. Two new wolf spiders, had a fun day, had a great time seeing everybody, meeting some new people, and yeah, I will see you guys soon. Like this video if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're not, and you want to be. Don't forget I have an Instagram that I use probably way too much as at terrainsoda.cat. You can go follow me there. I also have a Patreon podcast and a Teespring. It is all linked down below, and I will see you guys soon. Let's get into the Patreon pet pics.